to the director of football, Journeyman. Today is the most important game of Football Manager 2020 in this series anyway. Um, I'm sure people have had much more important um, matches where they've won the Champions League. Uh, in the beta, we made it to the Champions League twice with Atletico Madrid. Never won it. Can we win the Europa League? We are favourites. Can we win our first major European final that we've made it to? We've not lost a major European final. The Europa League as Ghent. Can we win? We are favourites. I've suited up for it. Um, going for a bit of a lax look, you know. I'm not going to go, not going to go insane and do the top button up, you know. I might just do the tie up just a smidge more. Okay. This is the team we are sending out there to play Valencia. Ex Valencia goalkeeper Borne in goal. He's not fully match fit, but I believe in him. I believe he can do the business. As I'm sitting here now, Hector is screaming at me saying, "But boss, but boss." Please play me. And I'm like, no, no, no. Borne, you're starting. Mitkov, Gallardo coming in. Gallardo is ex... No, it's, it was Roberto, who is actually playing for Valencia. They're playing as our wingbacks. Digresse and Inquita as our central defenders. De Dura and Sidige start in central midfield. Lengeti and East Riley starting as our wide men, both on loan. Uh, Diallo and Rodriguez up front. Uh, Carnavale. Still not fit, he's going to miss quite a bit of pre-season as well actually. I didn't realise he was going to miss quite so much of pre-season. The last game, just before we get into this game, we did beat Vestalo 5-2. Um, Popo scored, Diallo scored a brace. Unfortunately, that meant they were equal on goals. So I think Popo is given the top goal scorer for the season. Uh, which is just a little unfortunate. I was hoping that... Diallo would win it, but he's going into this game hoping that he can do the business. I hope he can do the business. I hope he can win this. It's not often I suit up, but when I do, I expect. I expect the win. We've already won the league. We go into this game as favourites. I think we have we have a fairly good opportunity. Maya Ziga. He's made it to the Europa League final. Interesting. Uh, we have put Dreisen on the bench because why not? Uh, Dreisen was an important player for us last year. Not so much this year. But everyone else on the bench is there on merit. Uh, Durkins and Gallardo were two players that I did have a bit of a hard time trying to decide which one I was going to play. And I went with Gallardo because um, Durkins in the last game had a very, very poor game. But this is how we're lining up today. I lead the boys out in a slightly different suit to the one, <laughs> the one I'm wearing. Fortunately, I don't have a, a bright blue suit. This is the closest I have. It's the closest tie I have to blue. I do have a dicky ball that's blue. I was not going to wear that. No, we're going to keep playing the way we played to get us here. We are going to demand more. We have a free kick. Nothing came of it. Fantastic. <laughs> Just what you want to see. Um, not a whole lot going on so far. There's been six shots total. Valencia have had four on target. We've not had any on target yet. Right, we're going to make a few changes. See if that makes a difference. East really not having a great game. But we do have a penalty. Digresse is pushed in the box. Diallo steps up to take said penalty. Diallo. And he's put us one up. Come on. We have to have a look at the um, attendance as well. We have travelled to all the way to Bulgaria. So I think it's like a 50,000 stadium. So it'll be interesting to see. It should, it'll pop up here at the start of the second half. Um, East Riley not having a great game. Rodriguez as well after having a really good run um, up to this point for the last month or so. Really not doing that well today. 
we will give him the opportunity to try and change that in the second half. Gallardo is not having a great game either. Hmm. Mitkov with the throw. Throws it long. Does nobody guess where Lingeli picks it up? Back to Dodora. Big big ball out to East Riley. Just kept it in. Gets clear, but Gallardo picks it up. Dodora tries to dink it around the corner. But Gallardo picks up the loose ball. Gallardo. Dodora. Sadija. East Riley. Gallardo. Can he whip in across? No, but he passes Sadija. Diallo. Gets blocked. And Rodriguez. Oh, their keeper. Does quite well to stop that. Didn't mean to click it. Alright, let's go on. Bit of creativity. We have another free kick. Rodriguez to take this one. No, East Riley. Steps up. Keeper. Kit pushes it out, but the door has scored. Okay, we're two up. Just before the hour mark. <clears throat> so it's fine. We're not going to get overexcited. Still plenty of time left. Still half an hour. Dora from the tightest of angles. They've taken uh, their wonder kid off, who I was told to be weary of. And from the um, scout reports we had of the team, or the Valencia players before uh, the game, didn't look like he was that good. He was like our fourth, he would have come in as our fourth best striker. So that that's, you know, depressing for him. Roberto is sitting on the bench for Valencia, tells Cedija to, you know, not get himself sent off. Because that would be bad. I don't want to, I was going to praise them, but if we can see here, I don't want to. Dodora tries to get the ball to Rodriguez, overhits it. And now Valencia on the break. Ten minutes remaining. Jensen is true. But Borne says no. And then one of our defenders almost scores an own goal. Completely un unnecessarily. And we are going to make a change. Do want to take, I'll take Rodriguez off for Jax. Make him a complete forward on support. I think we leave our final substitution for now. I don't even know who I want to bring on. In the case of our final substitution. I do think it's time we give the lads a bit of praise. There is 49,418 fans showed up to this game. A lot of it looks like they're Valencia fans. Digresse get, uh, clears the ball. But oh, Borne pushes it onto the post and then picks it up. Um, right, what other players picked up knock? 49,418 fans showed up. And half of them half of them are fans. Okay, so half the fans are ours, which is fine. We are going to... Who do I want to bring off the bench? Um, Mikov is going to come off. Degress is going to move to right back. Everett's going to come on at centre back for the final three minutes. Degress to Dodora. Lingeti. We haven't made the change yet. Diallo. Through on goal. It is... Guaranteed now we are 3 0 up against Valencia in the final. Oh, who would have thought that Valencia would beat Barcelona and then we would beat Valencia in the final? Good job, lads. Bit of praise. Don't concede. Don't ruin it. Sadije. Boots are clear. Juan. Back to Mazia. Uh, Mazia. Gets cleared. Digresse picks up Lingetti. Looking for number four. Diallo. Dinks it across. Nobody's there. Gets headed back. Jax. Christian. And it's 4 0 in the final. Jason Christians. Get in. <laughs> We've just dominated Valencia in the Europa League final. So we guaranteed ourselves Champions League by winning the league. We've now guaranteed ourselves Champions League by winning the Europa League. Champion, champion, ole, ole, ole. Champion, champion, ole, ole, ole. We are the champions. Get in. Congratulations, boys. You deserved it. Whew. 
Dodora, man of the match, didn't even play that well compared to how well some of our players played recently. East Rayleigh, just, uh, I'm not going to say anything. We just won the the final. I'm not going to be a dick and tell anyone they played really badly because, to be fair, nobody played that poorly. But we have lifted the Europa League, the first Belgian team to win. I think it's ever. We've been given 7.32 million for winning. Medals handed out to 23 players. Uh, Jonas Everett only played two games. No, that's that's the left back. Yeah. I was like, how did he only play two games? He's one of our main players. Um, again, Konyenye. Konyenye. Still don't know how to pronounce his name. His games in the Europa League were for Genk. This man is stealing medals off of people. Julian did get an appearance. So he gets a medal as well. Came off the bench once. Get in. The cream of Irish managers. I am the greatest Irish manager of all time. Look at me. Look at me. Oh. We've won the Hungarian second division. We've won the Europa League and two Belgian top divisions. Get in. This is a, another one where, you know, you know how it is. Sometimes you play, who did Sunderland and Wolves? We're miles ahead of everyone else. We are so much better. We are the best manager of all time. From Ireland, anyway. We've won the Europa League. Teams such as Salzburg won it last year. Tottenham the year before. Porto, Man United, Benfica. You know, just to name some good teams, you know. And then ourselves, Gaint, get in. Collective bonus of 3.8 million paid. Biggest overachievers. Nobody expected anything from us in this. We did come through the Champions League, where nobody was expecting us to do anything in the Champions League. We made it through the group stage, and they were expecting us to get to the second knockout round. And we won, we won the whole fucking thing. We won the entire thing. Yes. <sighs> Get in. What has that done to our profile now? Uh, 75%. We're almost a four star manager. The question is now do we stay at Ghent? Or do we make the move? Because I have been considering had we won the, the cup. Would we stay or would we go? Um, like, Park is an interesting job. I know, I'm, I've, we've literally just won the the league and I'm already like, or just won the Europa League and we're like, hmm, do we leave? Because Park are in the Europa League for next season. Um, no. Portimense? Mm, no. Okay, well, there's not really any teams in here now that I'm kind of going oh we should definitely take those but I would be open to moving but we just won the Europa League that deserves that without a shadow of a doubt deserves a like so if you haven't already hit the like button get in best team in Belgium best team well one of the best teams in Europe Um. We we'll have to have a quick look and see. Have the Champions League's not been played yet. Who won? Because Anderlecht were in the conference and they won the Europa Conference League. Get in. There's two Belgian teams winning trophies in major European tournaments this year. Um, League-wise, Anderlecht were. They did need to win that cup to be fair because without it, they weren't getting European football. So they've guaranteed. Club Root finish behind them in the overall season, but get Champions League because they finished above them in the league. Uh, Sintrorenza, or was it Standard Liège? Sintrorenza played in a European playoff game. They need to play Anderlecht again, so Anderlecht could conceivably make Europe twice. Don't know how that works. Anyway, um. Next episode will be a roundup of players of the season, all that good stuff. 
Or do we do it now? Do we just do it now? Do we do it now? How long till the season officially ends? Not that long. It's quite warm in this. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll uh, yeah we'll just come back in the next episode, which is going to be tomorrow, where we're going to have a look at the players of the season and all that good stuff, all the awards, and we'll do a transfer roundup. So if you have enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. As I said, we just won the Europa League. If you weren't watching, how did you make it this far without watching? Um, Europa League winners were the technically second best team in, in Europe. Leave a like, comment and subscribe. As I said, I am buzzing. Get in. Thank you very much for watching, fellas. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!